All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash. Second, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry pushing the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midness Camp, coming at you with another quick lesson. And as always, before I get into my lesson, this message goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And also to the Israelite foreigners as well that may be scattered amongst the heathen nations and they may look like your typical heathen of another nation. But if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you consider an Israelite as well, according to the bloodline and of the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So shalom to you brothers and sisters that scattered worldwide, and that's in the faith and the dark in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. So basically, I'm just going to get into a quick lesson, okay, touching on the topic about, you know, being in the spirit and not being, you know, carnal, man, okay, when it comes to incidents that happen. Uh, a couple of days ago, where in particular, a particular uh, Israelite camp known as HOI, House of Israel, out there in LA, where you have a, a video circulating on World Star, where they got into an altercation uh, with an Edomite, and supposedly you know, they, they jumped them, okay, got physical, okay, and they all in the video, you can see them, see them with their fringes on. Screaming out, Kwam Yasharala, okay, which, uh, you know, uh, which is Hebrew for rise Israel. But that's not the way, man. Okay, that's not the look you want, okay? And here at Great Millstone, start with our apostles and elders on down. We don't condone that, man, okay? Because you got a lot of Israelite camps out there that's going out to be, going out there to, to be seen, to be tough, to be seen as tough guys, being militant. Okay, you got Israelite camps out there. Uh, uh, when they're going out there to speak, they got guns in their holsters or assault rifles. Okay, when it comes to them holding it with a shoulder strap. But that's not the way, man. Okay, when it comes to the ministry of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you want to be found blameless. Okay. And we're already at the point where prosecution is coming. Demonization is coming. As we already seen that being played out. So he saw propaganda, okay, uh, 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 times that now he know this truth is getting out and he's seeing Israel is rising. But you're seeing them controlling the narratives, such as when it comes to their news, as they deeming us as identity screamers, black identity screamers, radicals, uh, hate group, okay? And you don't want to give Esau a reason, okay, to, to, to deem you those things, man. Okay, because here at Great Millstone, our whole purpose is to go out there and teach, not to seek vain glory, not to be seen of how tough we are, okay, or being militant, or going out there to provoke people the, 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 to get to altercation with people uh, fighting, that we're fighting out there. That's not the way, man. Okay, the whole thing is to go out there and preach and to give this message, message of the scriptures to the Israelites. And those that are going to receive it is the elect. That's the whole concern of, of the Lord ministry, man. Okay, to tell our people to repent, come back and serve Yahweh Bashim Shai for the great judgment that's about to come, known as Jacob's trouble. And you're seeing what's happening now, man. So we're not in the time of talking about being militant, because that's not the way of going out there seeking to pick fights. Okay? Because here at Great Millstone, that's all you're going to see us do is push this word, man. And that's all it need to be. Okay? To keep it simple, man. But we know a lot of these individual individuals amongst Israel, they got a lot of alternative motive. Okay? They want to be seen, man. 
but that's going to come back and bite them, man. When Esau can use footage such as that to hem them up. Okay, and we already know Esau already want to control the narrative and point every Israelite camp as a identity of screamers or radical. But here at Great Millstone, man, we want to be known for what? Pushing his word for righteous sake. Being prosecuted for righteous sake. And not to be blamed uh, of the ministry when it comes to carnal uh, altercations, man. Getting in fights, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. <clears throat> and I'm going to start off with Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. And this is red letter, meaning that Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Christ, he spoke this word, man. And this way he conduct his men to be, okay, doing his ministry, man. Let's see what Yahweh Shai say. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, okay? So the Lord said that we are sheep, man. Well, you know the characteristics of a sheep, they very docile, they defenseless, they humble, okay, they meek. Okay, so that's how we're supposed to be when it comes to the ministry. We go out there and teach. And people that don't have have a, a strong dislike or disagree with the ministry, and we tell them, hey, it's not for you. Hey, keep going. Or you just hey, go ahead and sit here and listen. But we're not going to provoke them and go back and forth to the point it doesn't turn to a physical altercation that end up people getting hurt or being locked up or, 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 or bad or it turns to look, look bad on our behalf. Okay, so we're supposed to be in the mind frame as being a sheep. As it says, as he says what? In the midst of wolves. Okay, because we already know when it comes to wolves, that's got to deal with your scoffers and scorners, your non-believers, the ones of our people. Okay, and these heathens, especially Esau, Edom. Okay, we know that these devils are going down. They see their kingdom is crumbling. Okay, hey, so you would tell them, hey, you, you Edomites, this is your future, your kingdom going down. You're going to go into slavery, okay? And you know they're going to be uptight. They're going to be uptight about that. But as long as you stick to the scriptures and prove the point in the scriptures, eventually they're going to leave, man. Not to provoke them, okay, to the point that you done, you, you're in fights with them. And even when it comes to the ones of our people that scoff and scorn, the non-believers of our people, as known as the scriptures as the two-thirds, but we know that two-thirds two of the nation of Israel is not going to receive the understanding of this truth. And therefore, we tell them, hey, they can keep it moving, okay? Not to go back and forth with them, man. Because eventually, you know, they get upset. They start a yelling match. They start yelling. They start, you know, running off at the mouth. And you just continue on being in the spirit and bringing out scriptures. Eventually, they're going to leave. They're going to want to hear their self-talk. They're ready for a reaction. So you can give them a reason so they can go ahead and haul off and start swinging, okay? Or get to the point that you done uh, got out of the spirit. Now you're thinking carnal, okay, to fight against them, man, okay? So your whole mind frame in this ministry when you're out there teaching that you're supposed to be as a sheep, okay, in the midst of those wolves, okay? The wolves, once again, are the ones that scoff and scorn, the non-believers, that looking at it, trying to do us harm. That don't want to hear the truth. Trying to hinder the word. Okay, but we got to keep pushing. No matter what they say. Okay, and stand bold in the faith and in the ministry. Not getting out of line. <coughs> Continue on. Verse 16. And it says, Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So that's how we're supposed to be, man. We're supposed to be wise as serpents. And harmless as doves. You're supposed to be wise to know, okay, to, uh, not to step over the boundary that it leads to a point of, like I say, physical altercation, fighting, okay? Lead to, might lead to arrest. You being arrested. Altercation with the policemen. You got camps that individual that done done that, man. Okay, the scripture said, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. And one of the ways that you resist them is continue on in the spirit of bringing out the scriptures. Okay, because ultimately that's Satan up there that's trying to hinder the word. Okay, all them demons on that individual that come against the word to see your reaction. Okay, as long as you stay in the scriptures and let the, the spirit speak, 
that the Lord is going to allow those demons to flee away. And we don't seen that multiple times, man. When we out there at camp, you got scoffers and scorners that come up there yelling. Okay, to the point they might try to get in the brother faces. Okay, but stay in the scriptures, man, and eventually they leave, man. Throw up curses on them. Okay, and the Lord have removed them, man. And the lesson go on. Okay, then next thing you know, the Lord sent up an individual that's willing to listen. Okay, but if you're out there fighting, okay, and you're getting constantly locked up or the police constantly have to get you off the streets, how can you go out there then and do the ministry? Okay, the, the, the seek the Lord's sheep, the ones that are willing to listen. Okay, so you're trying to avoid all situations at time to the point if it had to lead to, okay, uh, fights. Okay. Uh, so that's it on that. <clears throat> now I'm going to get, um, to go to the book of, I believe that's 2 Corinthians. Yeah, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse um, 3. And it says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. And the flesh is going into what? This body, man. And they can corner. Okay? To the point that you want to uh, fight individuals out there. Or you want to be seen tough. Or you want to talk about you taking up uh, taking up the arm, the arms, you know, guns to go out there to camp so you can feel secure. And hey, that's being carnal, man. Okay? You're not supposed to be in that, my friend. And it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, by his word going out through his ministry, through his prophets, this is what pulling down the strongholds, okay, of all uh, Esau Edom lies uh, or his agenda that he's pushing, as you're seeing now, as they're pushing toward the NWO, okay, behind this whole, you know, uh, Vanessa that they're pushing, man. Okay, individuals know what I'm going into. And we're seeing more and more of uh, the people being uptight due to the restrictions, due to the mandates. Okay? And, and a lot of people are fed up. Okay, so I, we already know people are going to be on the edge. But we're supposed to, you know, keep it simple, man. Okay? And when we go against Esau Edom and expose his government, hey, even amongst these Edomites, they starting to side because they see what's going on. Even though they not going to be delivered okay and, and and they don't understand that man hey so they're going to be be judged man okay but it's not uh us to go to the point that we got to physically trying to put hands on them man that's not the way okay once again the weapons of our warfare are not carnal man okay but mighty as it says Mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of the stronghold. And this was causing this place to go down. Okay, the word of, of Yahweh the spirit of the Lord. Okay, the Lord waking up his men, waking up his elect. Okay, and this place is going down due to that. Due to the spirit of the Lord exposing this place. All the lies that it don't push. And it says, verse 5, casting down imaginations. And every high thing that is on itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. So this word is what's bringing this place down, man. And eventually, Yahweh Shai, he's going to come back and take these devils out of rulership. Okay? But for us, our whole thing is to preach this word and, 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 and prophesy, man. Okay? To the Lord come. Okay? Not to try to take matters in our own hands. Because you got to understand, we're working out our own salvation, as the scripture says, with fear and trembling. Okay? We got to we gotta seek the Lord's mercy ourselves, man. That's part of the ministry that we go out there and teach. Okay? Us being repentant, looking for the Lord's mercy, and those that are willing to listen, that take heed, that they seek the Lord's mercy. Okay? And those that don't want to listen, and let them be. Okay? Like I say, man, hey, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai, they mark themselves, man. And they're going to be destroyed for that. Because they're not of the Lord's fold. Okay, when it comes to our people. And you saw Edom definitely, like I said, not going to make it. Okay? So you just don't have to rub it all in their face to the point that, uh, like I said, lead to physical fighting 
Hey, we already know they're going down, man. Okay. And and the, and the Edomites over here, man, they ain't really insignificant because they just as lost as two thirds, and they're gonna be new. Okay, right along with two thirds of our people, man. Okay, but how about Shemal Shot? It's really against the elites. Okay, because he's against Esau as a whole, but the elites are the ones that's really going to pay. They're going to be the ones that's going to captivity. Then we can get our rocks off on them, as it is written in Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Okay, and the rest of those uh, heathens that's going to be our servants. Okay, the ones of you Edomites that perish and you heathens that perish on this side, and you're going to come back in the kingdom and you're going to be our servants. Okay, but right now is not the time. Okay, they're trying to make Esau your, your, your servant, your slave. Okay? Hey, we still on the bottom, man. We still in captivity. Let me get this. That's it on that. Now I'm going to go to the book of um, Zephaniah. Chapter 3, verse 8. And it reads, Therefore, wait ye upon me, say the Lord, until the day that I rise up against up to the prey. So Yahweh Shemal say, wait. So we got to be patient, man. Okay, yeah, we know that we come to the understanding that we Israelites, that we supposed to rule over these nations, especially Esau, Edom, our prim primary number one enemy. And we know his future. We know that we're going to rule over them. Okay, but this is not the time, man. Okay, once again, our time. It, it, this is the time to prophesy and be found blameless for the ministry of the Lord. Just go out there and teach, man. Okay? <clears throat> because the day is going to come when the, the, the Lord is ra raising up against them. Okay? And the right now is due to the exposure of Esau Edom by the ministry, by this internet. Okay? Through the spirit, Yahweh Bashimel Shah is now raising them against these devils by exposing them. But it's going to come to the point that the Lord is going to physically going to rise up against them. But it's going to be through Yahweh Shai will. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai is going to be the one that's going to come back and take these devils out of power. And the elect being joint heirs. Okay? And the way the Lord is going to have the elect joint heirs with them, hey, when the elect is going to be delivered out of the destruction of America, okay, mainly with those missiles to destroy this place. And the elect is going to be beamed up into those chariots. Okay? And that's what we're looking forward to, to escape the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, that the Lord is going to be our defense. Okay, that the Lord is going to do his miracles. Okay, in the time uh, uh, when there's famine, when pestilence, when all hell breaking loose, the Lord says his servant is going to eat. His servant is going to drink, rejoice. Okay, and the Lord is going to give certain men spiritual powers. That's what we believe in, but you have to be spiritual. Okay, we're not thinking that we're going to eat or drink and rejoice all because we got uh, archery, or uh, artillery. Okay, I say it like that, or uh, 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 being militant. I think we're so tough to the point that you think, all oh, because you know a couple of uh, fighting styles, and you know how to fight, you know how to square up with people. Okay, you beat up some e uh, Edomite. Now you think you, you know King David, or you a mighty man. Okay, no, man, Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to be our defense. And he's all ready to come in with his military, man. Okay, it ain't only. As, but as far you can get being carnal when it comes to Esau Edom. And the Lord set Esau Edom up to be the sword. He gave him the blessing of the sword. Okay? And the time that we're in when it comes into the form of his military, his weapons, his soldiers. And we can't go, we can't go against that being carnal, man. Only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through the spirit can deliver us. Through the spirit and which is going to lead to physical and us being, you know, being delivered, okay? But you're seeing that the Lord is rising up against the prey. Verse uh, 8, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour to pour upon them my indignation and uh, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that's going to do that. He's going to destroy this place. Ultimately by those missiles and those chariots. When they're going to come back and bring fire to itself. In this third world war. Okay. And so you're seeing the Lord now setting the stage for World War Three, And the Lord's going to get his first man. He's going to get his glory. 
But in due time, Yahweh Bashem is going to exalt the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. But that's going to fully come in the kingdom. That we're going to have authority over our enemies, over the earth. Everything subject under us, man, as being an Israelite man, ruling with Yahweh Shai. But now that's not the time, man, okay, to be militant. Let me see if I can find uh, in the scripture when Yahweh Shai said that if this was my kingdom, my servant shall fight. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> give me a minute. Because this is not the time to be thinking that we are already in the kingdom, all because we know we Israelites. Okay. And hey, we still in captivity, man. And as the scripture says, we gotta wait on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let me get and I'm gonna uh, look it up real quick since I mentioned it. So, like I said, cause you know that was a bad look on HRI, on uh, LA camp down there, uh, over there in California. That was a bad look, man. And you got, but well, we understand that, cause a lot of these is like camps outside of Great Millstone. They're not in the spirit of the Lord, man. They're not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim was shot. A lot of these camps, man, they do all type of madness. <clears throat> okay, but for us, man, the hopeful let me. We waiting on Yahweh Bashim was shot, man. Once again, we're working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Because without the Lord, man, we, we, we can't do nothing. Okay, the, the time past history of, uh, of slavery proved that. When Esau took us down as a whole, okay, how many times you think we revolt and, 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 and came up against Esau, Edom, but it fell? Why? Because it was not uh, Yahweh Bashim was shot. Okay, it's a specific time that the Lord allowed Esau to rule. Okay, and although we know we are his end, that his kingdom is falling, it's still not up, up to us to think that we can take him down in our, uh, with our own power. Man, let me get this. Okay, this is John chapter 18, verse 36. And Yahweh Shai answered, okay, this one, he's had that account with Pontius Pilate, man, when he was being uh, prosecuted, okay? And they deemed Yahweh Shai as a, a extremist. Hey, but when you check out Yahweh Shai ministry, hey, Yahweh Shai wasn't jacking up people. He wasn't going out there prov provoking people, being militant, okay? At hey, the time when the, the, they came to they get Yahweh Shai to turn him over to the Romans, and you had Peter that took out, took out his sword and cut off one of the, the Roman satorian ears. And what Yahweh Shai did, man, he healed the man's ear. And he told Peter to put his sword back up. Okay, and he said that what? All those that live by the sword shall perish by the sword. Okay, and the sword represents an illic instrument, but the modern day sword is the gun. So all you Israelites that's taking up the gun, hey, you're going to perish by the gun. Because that's not the way of Yahweh Shai was shot. Okay, but this was the time when Yahweh Shai, okay, taught the prophet Pilate. Okay, and Yahweh Shai in this ministry was known for what healing people, okay, doing miracles and preaching. Okay, and the ones that didn't like his pe preaching, they false accused him, okay, of our own people. Okay, due to what he was cutting them, and that's what we're doing today, man, through the scriptures. Okay, but. Yahweh Shah didn't cut him and decide to try to pick fights with him. And he cut him and he been, been by his way. And in the times after he cut him, they trying to stone him. They trying to push him off the, the, the edge of a cliff. They trying to grab him up multiple times. But what Yahweh Shah did, man, he fled. Okay, he didn't um he didn't counteract by being physical with them. Okay, the Lord gave him that power, okay, to flee. Because Yahweh Shah knew that time. At that time, it was his, his purpose was to preach and exalt the Father, and he had to be that sacrifice for us, man. Okay? And look what happened, man. Yahweh Shah now sitting on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, ready to come back to claim his glory. And we have to be in that same mind frame. We go out there and teach, 
I can't teach and just be harmless, man. I can't wait for you. How about Shimon was shot to his orders? Okay, to be our defense. Okay, so this is the count that Pontipolis, okay, was questioning Yahweh Shai. And this is what Yahweh Shai answer was. Um, once again, John chapter 18, verse 36. And Yahweh Shai answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Okay, so back then, that wasn't a time for Yahweh Shai kingdom. Okay, he said if it was, then his servants would fight. But that, but back then, it wasn't that time, man. Okay, and now we're approaching the time that Yahweh Shai about to establish the kingdom, and we're going to have authority over our enemies. We're going to have them in subjection. But at this time, we're not in the time of, of picking fights with Esau, Edom, and those of our people that are coming against the truth. We're going to fight against them. Okay, but like I said, it's going to be a time the Lord is going to raise his man up with that power. Okay, and that's going to be the time when Yahweh Bashim Shai grant that. Okay, but for right now, man, we have to wait. We're coming to the time of Jacob's trouble, the pushing of the MOTB. Okay, all hell is about to break loose, man. And the only way, once again, to be delivered is being spiritual and believing in Yahweh Bashim Shai, not being carnal. And it says, if my kingdom were of this world, then will my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Okay, so it wasn't a the time then. But the time going to come when the Lord is going to raise his men up. And we is going to get paid back on our enemies. Okay, but for right now, this word is what Yahweh Bashim is using. Okay, if you want to talk about taking up the sword, and this word itself, is our, this word is our defense, man. Let me get that, you know. Hebrew, the book of Hebrew, chapter 4, verse 12. And it read, For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So this word is quick and powerful. And that's why when we go out there and teach, and this word rub people the wrong way, and we know why, uh, see why they can get upset and want to cause us harm or want to try to get physical. But you have to stay, remain in the spirit and constantly bring out the scriptures. And, and, and eventually, like I say, the, the scriptures, the spirit of the Lord, uh, make them go away, man. Okay? So you can continue on being out there to edify. Okay? Because not that you're only edifying the ones that you out there preaching to that might be in the crowd. And most of those people that are in the crowd, man, they are all for entertainment anyway, man. Okay, as you could have seen on that World Star hip hop video with that fight with HOI. Okay, and they, those individuals that part of that camp that fought that uh, Edomite. Okay, all of them was out there just to record to see if something ready to pop off. It wasn't out there to be edified, man. It was out there to be entertained. Okay, and, I, and the main ones that's really truly listening is the audience or those that tune in. Okay, on the video. Okay, those that's true, true. And sincere. Okay, because we know amongst the ones that watch the videos, a lot of them are there to be entertained too. Okay, but we reach the elect mainly, not just by the highways and byways, but us uploading these videos on YouTube. That's where the main audience is at. Okay, when it comes to different, you know, brothers that's watching, true believers. Okay, and like I said, you're going to have the scoffers and scorners in the mix, the ones that's looking for entertainment, waiting for stuff like that to, help, to pop off so they can have a reason to try to come against you with a stupid argument, man. Okay, but you want to be found blameless, man. Okay, because when you put up them videos, man, you're putting yourself out there. You already got a target on you by Esau Edom. And provoke them more to give them a reason to call you identity of streamers. Okay, you just, you know, you putting that on yourself. But Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divining asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So the word of Yahweh was shy. Okay? This word is what is, it lies the power, not ourselves. So that's it on that. Let me see. Um,
This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 17. Thou therefore gear up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their face, lest I confound thee before them. Okay, come, because when we out there, of course, you know, we bold in the spirit. Okay, because we coming in the word of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. And the spirit already gets you fired up and, you know, with that fervent uh, spirit, man. Okay, to do the work of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. Okay, but it's not supposed to go to the point that it leads to being, like I said, physical altercations, man. Okay, now you've got to defend yourself, of course. Well, you're not supposed to be out there to provoke to the point that you in a scuffle. Well, you know, you could avoid the situation just by standing in the spirit and just constantly pushing the word, bringing out the word. Verse 18, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 18. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and the iron pillar and the Brunson wall. Okay, and that's the Lord being with his men. Why are they out there, man? Okay, why are we out there? The Lord is going to be our defense. And it says, against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. Okay, because we know that two-thirds of our people are going to come against us, come against the truth. Okay, and they just wicked, and they got spirits on them. Okay, but we understand that, okay, that this word is only for the elect. And two-thirds of our people, okay, this word is going to be a, a stumbling block to them. It's going to cut them. Okay, as we just now read. In uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, okay? But we have to know how to uh, 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 stay in the spirit when things uh, happen, okay? Such as that, okay? Well, okay, when they're about to get to the point of a physical altercation, uh, a fight they're about to break out. And it says, verse 19, And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am, I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee, okay? And they're going to, okay, not actually fighting physical, but coming against this word, man. Coming against the ministry of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh But the Lord's going to deliver his men out of that situation, okay? Due to them standing in the spirit, constantly bringing out the scriptures. And those, those that come against it, eventually the spirit of the Lord, okay, going to rebuke them, that they're going to flee. Okay, and that's how the Lord is going to deliver his men out of a situation to the point they don't have to become physical. Okay, but, but remaining spiritual. So that's it on that. Uh, let me see. And I get one more scripture and I, you know, get ready to close out. You know, just a quick video going into how that incident that took place over there in, in California, dealing with the HOI, uh, LA camp. Okay, now they've famous okay now they ain't gonna be really famous about pushing the word or the lord to, okay to okay to gather israel now one of the knots they got on their belt okay that's gonna be them known for fighting edomites being radical and that's the look that you don't want want man that's the stain you don't want when it comes to doing the ministry of the lord let me get this on um, Um, God, this is it right here. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Daily beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, say the Lord. Okay? So Yahweh Bashim al is going into that, man. Okay, that we're not supposed to avenge ourselves, even if it must... Uh, two-thirds of our people, all these heathens, okay? The Lord said that vengeance belonged to him, okay? That he said he will repay. He is going to bring the judgment. Because once again, we're looking to be deliver ourselves, man, okay? All thing we have to do is go out there and teach the word, okay? And individuals come up, they don't want to listen, send them on their way, not to provoke them, okay? And just continue to stay in the spirit to edify, Okay? And that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is going to do the one that's going to bring the judgment. Okay? He's going to put those plagues on them individuals that didn't take heed. So that's it on that.
Let me read it again. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, say the Lord. Okay, so it's the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He's going to uh, repay those that come against his word. Because we're a representation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh not ourselves. Okay, when we out there going in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh saying that we're the men of the Lord, okay, we give it reverence to the Lord. So we represent Yahweh Hashem Yahweh But a lot of these camps out there, they're not of that spirit. They're all actually about themselves to be seen a man. Okay? Coming with their own motives. Because like I said, you got a lot of camps out there that's in that mind frame of being militant, being tough, want to have Edomites and heathens bow down to them, want to get on two-thirds because, okay, even though they're wicked as hell, but they puff they self up because they know they're Israelite. They think they're more better than the two-thirds, not knowing that, hey, they got to fight for salvation themselves. They got to be in the spirit of repentance themselves. And that's the mind frame we must take on, man. Working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, we go out there and tell our people this and that according to the Bible. If they don't listen, that's on them. Okay, that blood is off our hand. Okay, because we gave them the truth. And that's all we have to do. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson will edify to the ones out there listening. Okay? Hey, like I said, man, you know, brothers continue on fighting in the spirit. Okay? Uh, being blameless in the ministry of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we know the time of prosecution and demonization is going to come. But we're not supposed to give them a reason when it comes to physical altercations for Esau to have that label on us. Okay? We want to be found blameless. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be the one that's going to deliver us, man. Okay? Like I said, not saying that, you know, you might get into an altercation. You have to defend yourself, and the Lord is going to be with that, okay? But you're not you want to be in the uh, spirit of you take matters in your own hand and think that you're going to be justified just because you're going to knock out an Edomite or uh, get in a fight with uh, uh, some Jakes or some heathens and think that you, you're a mighty man now, okay? No, man. We're still in, in the state of as a worm, as the Lord say, being defenseless. Okay, we're still in captivity. We gotta wait on your by Shema was shot, as the scripture says. Okay, we're still at the point, man, of these prophecies when it comes to judgment coming to pass, man. Okay, so the ones of our you know that's in the faith, man, we gotta constantly stay in the spirit. Okay, start with myself. Okay, and another brothers that's like minded, okay, that's really seeking your by Shema was shot and waiting on the Lord and let the Lord do his marvelous works. So till the next time, as I said, they keep fighting the ones that's in the ministry, okay, the, the sisters the, the, and the believers that's out there that's being obedient, okay, constantly hastening the day of the Lord. Until the next time, I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Makal Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders. Our apostles and elders are great millstone. And uh, salutation to the fellow laborers and the believers that's got to wear why and that's in the faith and exalt the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Until the next time, <clears throat> Lord willing, Shalom.